speaker, we've heard some, some erudite, some learned speeches uh, this afternoon, and uh, none was none was better than Lynn Pillay's actually. She she made some very good points about how you know we are getting a, a unified electoral commission, and she can't wait for the next election to try that out. I, I think that's fine. That's good. Uh, all I'm saying to the members in the other other side is make sure you're not in the mid to high 30s on that list. Make sure you're not in the mid to high 30s. In fact, uh, uh, Jacinda Ardern, Marion Street, Carmel Cepalona, you're right. Uh, Grant, Grant, Grant Robertson's all right. He's got a seat. He should be all right. Uh, but the other three, keep in the top 30. And, Mr Speaker, wh what I want to say is, what one of my favourite movies as a young lawyer was The Castle. And I particularly enjoyed, I particularly enjoyed... That, that scene when the, the, the provincial lawyer comes out, I've been a provincial lawyer, there's nothing wrong with provincial lawyers, comes out and, uh, and he's asked what principle he's relying on. He says, uh, you know, it's, it's the constitution, it's Mabo, it's the vibe. And, and being on this electoral select committee was some, sometimes a bit like that. We had this sort of vibe that was there, some vibe that was there about whether or not... Uh, we needed to have an independent Crown entity or an officer of Parliament. Lynn was operating on the vibe principle, actually, uh, and, uh, and, and, and it was very clear to them that perhaps what we needed was an officer of Parliament. But, in fact, we heard uh, from some eminent uh, legal academics and practitioners, including David McGee, QC, and it became very clear to us um, quite quickly uh, that actually having an independent Crown entity as the original bill provided for was the right model. That's what we've done. It was important, though, that we, that we worked our way through the vibe and that we, uh, we did act in a multi-party way. We did bring everyone on board. That's what we did. We've got a first-class now piece of legislation where the Honourable John Carter gave, if I may say so, a very learned speech. I know he wrote himself. He's thought a lot about this, and I commend this bill to the House. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done.